Are you getting ready to hire some new house cleaners? How do you get your company ready to hire? That is a great question. I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, Jason called into the show, and he asked this question. Before launching House Cleaning by Jason four months ago, I did two years of research. Thank you, Angela. You've been amazing. How do I prepare my business to start hiring employees? There's so much to do. I don't know where to start. All right, Jason, I love the question. And I'm super excited that you've joined me in your training and your research. Thank you so much for your kind words. How do you get ready to hire people? All right, so for imagine for a second that you go to a restaurant and you sit down and you're super hungry and a waiter arrives and he says, hey, can I get you something to eat? And you go, yeah, I'm really hungry. And he goes, what do you want? You go, uh, a menu, right? Because what are you supposed to do? Like say, hey, I would like a burger and fries. And then he says, yes, uh, what do you want on your burger? And then you're like, well, I don't know what's in the kitchen. Uh, do you have avocados? No, we don't have that. Do you have bacon? No, we don't have that. Do you have eggs? Uh, yeah, we have an egg. Okay, I'll have an egg. Uh, do you have tomatoes? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to check on that, right? You're going to run into a lot of questions, and you're going to have to have lots of questions in order to clarify what you want. Did you say fries came with that? Can I substitute the fries for a salad? Is a drink included with that? It just evokes a lot more questions, okay? You don't want to invite somebody in to sit at your hiring table and not have a menu of items to give them, okay? That's nothing but inviting chaos. You want somebody to come in for a job, and you want to give them a menu, which is really an employee handbook, and you want them to know exactly what is on the menu and what is expected of them, okay? So at Savvy Cleaner, which is the company that I have, training company for house cleaners and maids. We have a course, it's number five. I will leave links in the show notes so you can check it out. Five is all about your employee handbook. It is that menu you give to someone when they are coming in. Now you need to know this before you even run your first ad because we wanna make sure that you know what's on your menu and how your company operates. So the question is, do you have your employees work on holidays? If a customer's cleaning falls on a holiday, are they expected to work or do they have the day off? You need to know that in advance. If they are expected to work on a holiday, do you pay them time and a half? You need to know how that works. If they need time off, how many days in advance do they have to request time off? You need to know that before they show up and just start willy-nilly randomly asking for things, right? You need to know how your company operates. You need to also know what is your dress code. Do you require that your house cleaners are in uniform? Do you require that the uniforms are pressed and free from stains? Do you request that your employees or your independent contractors have some kind of a personal hygiene process? Is there something that you go through before you determine if they're ready to be hired? If your employee has a company car that they're driving, are they required to keep that clean? If they're driving their own personal vehicle for work, are they required to keep that clean? Because if it's gonna sit out in front of a customer's house for three or four hours at a time, that's an extension of your brand, right? They're representing your company. And so is this included as part of their hiring? Are they expected to keep their car clean? And are you as the business owner paying for that cleaning package for their car? There are a lot of things that you get to figure out before you even have the job interview. Now, course 16 at our Savvy Cleaner training is called Hiring Right. In order to have someone come in, you need to know exactly what is entailed in the job that they're doing. Are they gonna be cleaning for five hours a day? Are they gonna be cleaning for eight hours a day? Are they going to be cleaning four days a week or five days a week? What, what are your rules? And you need to know that in advance before you place the ad. How often is payday? Is that once a week? Is that every two weeks? Is it every day at the end of the day? How do you work that out? Who in your company does the inventory? Is that you or is that the employee? And these are things that you need to know. And so once you know these things, then you are in a position to hire. And how do you hire? Well, we also have whole examples on how you write the ad and the exact word tracks to use and the questions to ask in the interviews and the hiring scorecards. The hiring scorecard is imperative because we get caught up as business owners. We get a little desperate. We're like, hey, I really need to hire somebody. And so we just want to hire the first warm body that walks through the door. We do not want to hire on emotion only, okay? Oh, it was my gut instinct. No, no, no. The hiring scorecard keeps you hiring on the facts and the facts do not lie. So there are things like, were they punctual for the interview? If they were not punctual, it's not like they were kind of punctual. They either were or they were not. 
but you need to know those things before they go to a customer's house and the customer's expecting them punctually at a specific time. You need to know, is this person capable of showing up on time? So there's a whole bunch of different things that we like to look for and we like to critique them, not on our personal biases and not on our enthusiasm for the job, right? We wanna critique them on the facts only and the scorecard will keep you on task so that at the end you have a particular score and you say we're only hiring 150 and above for our score. And if somebody comes in at 121, they didn't quite match the scorecard, which was your baseline for, hi for hiring someone, right? So there are a certain series of parameters. But my suggestion to you right now is how does your company operate? If you spent two years doing your research, you have probably figured out a lot of the things that you wanna do in your company. That's awesome. It needs to go on a menu and it needs to be part of your presentation so that when that employee sits down, it's not, am I hiring the right person for the job? The question is, are my systems easy enough that the next person that comes in, anybody that comes in, could be the right person for this job based on the criteria that I've set up and based on the ease of my methods and my processes, right? Instead of us looking for a unicorn, do we have a unicorn process that anyone can plug into and it's easy enough that anyone can do it? That's gonna be your easiest way to hire people. All right, those are the things that I would recommend. Come check out Savvy Cleaner, not just a personal plug, but we've been doing this for 31 years. We've done it in 31 countries. We've done it all over the world in 191 languages. We work with thousands of house cleaners, and I'm really confident that this is a program that will help you as you hire people and as you grow your business. So check it out again, I'll leave links in the show notes. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.